can't believe it. Every day at 9 a.m. sharp, the owner of the fruit store across the street would open the store. It's a fruit store, however, uh, they sell many other things like eggs, milk and other stuff. And even from up here, I was able to see the freshly baked bread. You know, I got food. Uh, I got pasta, I got rice, I got chicken breast, lots of things, so no problem. But I have always loved the smell and the flavor of bread. And every day I would consider going downstairs real quick, like at nine, and there's nobody there at nine when it opens. No customer, so no risk. And today I was determined to go. I was planning like a Navy SEAL. I was determined to go there and get some bread. But to my surprise, didn't open today. And there's some signs outside. Yeah, multiple signs. I can't read them from here. I hope everything is fine, but as long as I have food here, I'm not gonna go anywhere. That store right here across the street was my only option. But since it's closed, not gonna get bread today. Welcome back to my channel. And also this time I would like to talk about a lens. And, hmm, wait a minute, something's wrong. Uh, oh, okay. much better all right as i was saying i would like to talk about another lens for the canon m50 but i'm gonna do that after the intro So welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome to the new ones. Not subscribed yet? Click subscribe now and hit the like button. You're gonna have to do it sooner or later. Just do it now so then you don't have to think about it. All right, okay, so let's say you have a Canon M50, which is awesome. So chances are you have a kit lens, uh, 15 to 45 millimeters, and you feel like you need to buy another lens. Well, the first option, of course, would be the Nifty 50, which is so good. If you haven't seen my previous video where I talk about it, click here on the card, okay? The Nifty 50, the Canon 15 millimeters, 1.8, is a great lens. It's wonderful for B-rolls and you can get very nice shots with it, with a really nice blurry background. However, that is a little bit too tight if you own a um, Canon M50, but also for any other crop sensor camera. With the crop, which is um, 1.6, the 50 millimeters becomes an 80 millimeters, making everything like tighter. But like, if you want to film yourself, like in this situation here, that I'm using a um, 24 millimeters with the Canon 90D, you can see me, there is some blur in the background, not much, but it's not bad. And the camera is not far away at all from me. It's like two feet, three feet away from me. So I understand that when you try to obtain a framing like this, with the 50 millimeters, the camera needs to be placed so far away from you, like seven feet or eight feet away. It's even hard to, to see, to check if you're um, well, well in focus while you're filming yourself, because the camera, when it's so far away, you can barely see the three inch screen. I happen to find this lens, the um, Mikey, Mikey? Mikey, Mikey. Anyways, it's a 35 millimeters f1.7. It has a um, M mount specifically for cameras like the M50, like the M5, M6, M whatever. It's made of iron, pretty solid. It's compact. It's like 
really small. So when you put it on the M50, your setup doesn't get bulky or cumbersome, the opposite. Some particular things, the focus ring is really smooth and the aperture ring is clickless. What does it mean? Well, I mean that one, it doesn't make noise when you change the aperture and two, it's a kind of like cinema cameras, it's smooth. You can change the aperture gradually and in the footage it will be awesome, like really smooth, gradual in the same shot depending on your needs and your taste. I forgot to mention, this lens is 100% manual. There is no autofocus, there is no stabilization, nothing. Let's put it on the M50. And first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it on the tripod here and we try to, to make the same, kind of the same shot or something. So now we're gonna change to the M50 with the 35 millimeters. F 1.7, Mikey, Mickey, Mikey, cheers. I haven't moved the tripod much, maybe a couple of inches. And this is what you get from the Mikey, Mickey, Mikey. 35 millimeters, 1.7 at 1.7. Basically, when you put the speed booster on the Canon M50 with the Nifty 50, uh, let's see, like, I hate math, but let's do it. On a crop sensor camera, the 50 millimeters would equal to an 80 millimeters. With the speed booster, you have to multiply that by 0.71. And what you get? 56.8. Hmm. I studied, I guess. Well, this is a 35 and there is no speed booster. That on the crop sensor camera, such as the M50, equals to a 56 millimeters. So even better than the uh, Nifty 50 with a speed booster. Just uh, completely manual. I don't even know if I nailed the focus. I will see that in post. I mean, and, and you're seeing it right now. What I wanna do now is to test this lens for the things that I normally, generally do during my shootings meaning some um, b-roll, time-lapse, and of course, we check if it might be suitable for vlogging and how. Let's do it. Now the M50 on the Jumbi Gorilla Pod 5K, the 35 millimeters. First thing we see, it's not really suitable for um, walking around when vlogging. It's a kind of like the uh, 50 millimeters with the speed booster. So it's still a little bit too tight because it equals to a uh, 56 millimeters on a APC crop sensor. But this is with natural light from the window. And it's not wide open at 1.7, it's like F 2.2. Oh, and there's no stabilization. It's a little shaky. There's a mess here. I should really clean up with well, a time lapse or B roll. Surprise! I said some things I wasn't clear. No, it hurt you, but I still care. No, I miss you late. Treat you better if I could just change my words like in a letter. I did some things, but I wasn't clear. No, I did it wrong, and you did it right. That's what you said when you started the fight. You came to an end, I put up this fence. But do you really mean that this? bad what do you think about it let me know in the comments down below and tell me if this might be a suitable option for you 
or if you prefer the nifty 50 anyway personally i think that even if you own a 50 millimeters it doesn't mean that you that you can't use this one i mean they're different because as i said the 50 millimeters on a crop sensor equals to 80 millimeters awesome it's great you can do so much with it but have you seen all the things we can do with this about the fact that it's a manual lens completely manual 100 percent well think about it if you use it like for the kind of like interview shot you just need to focus once then you sit in front of it and once you're in focus make sure you don't move too much like back and forth and you'll be fine it's always good to practice some uh, manual focusing every now and then the more the better when you manage to learn how to manual focus in videos you can create incredible shots you can unleash your creativity and for the b-rolls if you use 120 frames per second well think about it it doesn't matter what lens you use on the m50 when you use 120 frames per second there's no stabilization and there is no dual pixel out of focus you have to focus before pressing the direct button and that's exactly what happens with a manual lens so what's the difference <laughs> so that's it for today if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you in the next video